Alright, hey YouTube, uh, it's been a really long time since my last update, um, and there's a good reason for it, but I needed to make an update video at this point, because there's a lot of things that are different in my life. Um, the reason I hadn't been doing video updates is uh, because a big thing that was uh, going on in the last few months was that I was job searching, um, and I didn't necessarily want to put that out um, online and uh, mess things up with um, my previous supervisors. Um, they are they knew that I was job searching, but at the same time, like I still wanted to respect the fact that I was still uh, their employee and didn't want to uh, sound like I was running rushing to get out or anything like that. Uh, but I was, you know, ready to uh, get out of residential life. It's very, very uh, how do you how do you put it? Uh, it's it's definitely. Um, an area that folks really burn out of very quickly. It's very exhausting and time-consuming. Um, you live where you work, so you never really stop um, working. Um, so I needed to get back to wanting to do um, LGBTQIA specific work, um, really focusing on that. So I started looking around, and I finally landed uh, a job um, as the program coordinator for LGBTQI life. Um, at Vanderbilt University, so I'm uh, now in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I don't know if Nashville or Tennessee, for that matter, was really on my radar of uh, places I want to live, but here I am, um, and I'm going to make the most of it. Um, I'm not in my own place right now. Uh, I'm still looking. I just got in uh, last night. I'm staying with a with a friend of mine uh, who works in uh, Res Life here. And so I'm uh, crashing at our apartment while I'm uh, apartment searching for myself and uh, looking for places uh, near campus. But yeah, um, a lot is different. Um, the last couple of weeks have been emotionally draining and exhausting. Um, the, the job offer was really, the, you know, two weeks ago, uh, or my acceptance was uh, two weeks ago. So me uh, letting everybody know that I was leaving, uh, packing things up, um, just kind of making plans of what I was going to do until I found a place and getting here, flight, all this hot mess, um, major, major to-do list. Uh, lots of things on my to-do list that never got checked off, but um, for folks who know uh, anything about me, uh, that is the most anxiety-ridden thing for me ever, is not to have a complete to-do list. Um, but here I am, and I just finished my first day unofficially. Um, as part of the staff. I officially start next week on Monday, uh, but I joined uh, the staff of uh, LBGQI Life and the Women's Center because they share a director um, on a staff retreat today uh, to kind of do some getting to know you stuff and some planning uh, for, for this year, so I really wanted to be there for it. Um, the staff here is really incredible. Um, folks are really uh, helping me to make connections and uh, find places since that's kind of like priority number one right now. Um, so that, but just getting to know them a little bit today, the, uh, I know I'm going to love a lot of them. Uh, and uh, while it's been really, really, really difficult saying goodbye to, to folks in, uh, in Burlington, um, it's at least somewhat uh, satisfying to know that I can find people that I can connect with here too. Um, but that's, that's the other piece of it of the last few weeks being really emotionally draining was um, having to say goodbye to people that I really consider um, a part of my family in a lot of a lot of ways um, and you know I was still going to, to training with them and, and all that kind of stuff um, so it, it was also like this this mental um, mindfuck of a game of I'm, I'm working with them and, and planning and stuff for for their year really um, but I'm about to dash out um, so, but that's 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 how it is. Um, anyway, the next like couple of months is definitely going to be an incredibly hectic one here uh, between finding a place, uh, moving again, um, getting settled, uh, my sister's wedding in in just a few weeks. Um, you know, seeing family, seeing um, family friends, and all kinds of stuff. Um, that's going to take a, an, another different toll on on me emotionally, so, uh, but it'll be good to see, uh, Talin and, and mom and, uh, and everybody. Yeah, um, it's gonna be a roller coaster for a few weeks, um, it, it has been already and it's gonna continue to be. Um, 
felt very, very distracted today. Um, I felt really bad about um, how distracted I was throughout the retreat um, because my, my thoughts and my head are, are still at UVM a little bit. Um, and kind of making this, this wish list in my head of, I wish I got to spend a little bit more time with this person or that person or done that or, uh, or the other, but um, I, just, I didn't have the time for it. Um, I keep looking down at my feet because um, in addition to, to Allison, the person I'm staying with, I also have two other roommates, um, two cats. Um, and I'm allergic to cats, so uh, <laughs> I'm also heavily, heavily medicated right now. Um, and, but they, they're very, very playful. Uh, they're adorable, and it's killing me to not like play with them and, and pet them and stuff, but I'm trying not to touch them. Uh, but anyway, that's another distraction. They're very, very, very different. Um, but yeah, Nashville. Um, I'm excited, but I'm also um, trying to be authentically, authentically nervous um, and not ignore or um, not acknowledge uh, my feeling of being nervous, of, of being in the South, um, being in a very, very, very different place than the places I've been before. Um, and at the same time, being optimistic about it because every single place I've ever lived in has been incredibly unique and different from each other. Um, and I've managed to adjust and manage to, to learn a lot and grow a lot um, in all kinds of different ways. So I know I'll get a lot of, out of this experience too, um, but I, I want to respect um, the, the challenges that, and the obstacles that are going to be um, coming up and, and the new ones that I've probably never faced or never thought of as... as possible obstacles. Um, but yeah, and beyond that, um, I don't know if there's much else to, to update on. Um, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing okay otherwise. Um, not that that's not me doing okay, but um, doing well. Um, yeah, I, and if anybody from uh, UVM is watching this, I miss you all um, a lot uh, already. Um, not being able to just walk down um, a building or two to, to, to see you or hang out or watch a TV show together is um, hard. It was already hard saying goodbye to a couple of folks leaving and not being able to do that with them, but to myself leave and not be able to do that with 30 or so people, um, I miss you uh, a lot. Uh, thank you all um, for everything you've given me and shown me. Um, and there's so much I want to say to all kinds of different people that I, I don't want to even put on this video for, for the rest of the world. Um, if you're ever in Nashville, you know, um, to look me up. Now, before I start crying, um, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, but I guess that's one little update uh, in terms of other life stuff is, uh, I might have mentioned this before in my previous videos, um, my inability to actually physically cry um, since, since being on T. And I'm not attributing it to, uh, to the testosterone, uh, but it's, it's been a reality in my life the, the last year or so that I haven't been able to cry, uh, where I can feel myself emotionally reaching that point of needing to tear up but just not being able to actually tear up and have things come out of my eyes um and that's been that's been very very frustrating um and i i feel that frustration right now um and and, and throughout these uh, these last few days because i want that emotional release of having said goodbye to some really important people in my life um and i want to just cry it out so that i can move past and I just I haven't developed that uh, ability to physically release something emotionally um, outside of crying um, and I need that more than ever right now um, but yeah I, I need to figure that out quickly before really diving into work here because I don't want to have this emotional distraction on a, on a constant constant basis um, but yeah that's that's the only other update um, thanks for, thanks for listening, and I'll try to have these updates be a little bit more consistent. See ya.